Hello, Sagittarius. This is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. We're a good group of people, especially if you want a reading. We we are absolutely top notch. Let me tell you, I have some of the best readers you're going to ever find. And the first question, the first card is the flow. This is for February 2019th, by the way. So things for Sagittarius should go in the flow. And that means probably that you want to try to be in the flow yourself. But Sagittarius, let's see what the cards have to say for you, Sagittarius. Ha! Well, will you look at that? The Magician. And the Magician is the mover and shaker. He brings energy from above, brings it down into and makes it work in the earth, in the physical plane. We're not in the third dimension anymore. We have moved out of the third dimension. What you're seeing here, this is physicality. We still act like we're in the physical of the third dimension. That's because we haven't figured out that we've moved and we can be, we can create new and probably much better lifestyles but we're a bit polarized at the moment. It's We're getting there. We're slow, but that's all right. The ultimate is we will get there. But Sagittarius, this, this is for you. You are a mover and shaker this month for February. And what what's on top of us that covers us? Well, for you, so far, it's turning out to be a good month. The Four of Wands. And this is coming together or celebration it's used used to be my marriage card but nobody asks about marriage anymore <laughs> they all ask about what's happening in my life why is it upside down well things are coming together and they're coming together in a very positive way and celebration celebrating way so that's what's covering you what's behind you and it's judgment but judgment, as I have said before, not in the old way where, hey, you did done wrong. Judgment is in the way of, you, can't, you, you have seen the light. You're coming out of the dark and you're seeing things clearly for the first time, probably in many, many years. Not you, everybody. So you're seeing things clearly. And that's why I think why your life is starting to become the mover and shaker. What's happening just below us? The Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is, let's move it over here. The Six of Cups is dreaming. And, and you have two ways of dreaming. You can t color that dream in bright and beautiful and wonderful. Or you can knock over a few cups, feel bad, and uh, and and colored in dark drab colors. The choice is entirely yours. And right now, what you think, what you tr feel, is going is what you are attracting. Attract bright and shiny like the red. Okay. And what's directly in front of you? And this is just for February, right? The Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands, well, it's not a horrible card. It's actually, according to the write-up, it's actually somebody who they're pro they're showing off how well they can do things, how well they can, well they've learned to, well in this case, fight obviously, but it also means that you you are protecting yourself from other people's opinions, mat thoughts, and matters, and in some case, actually p protecting yourself from situations. The situations you might have to protect yourself from, the opinions of others, they don't matter. They are indeed other people's opinions. And as the saying goes, what other people think of you is none of your business. So if you're, unless you're protecting yourself from legalese or uh, a situation, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter if it's your mom and your dad or your cousins, etc. They, they, they are still simply opinions. And what's coming up and coming up after that? This is the Ten of Wands, 
And of course, it's work. And it's probably hard work. But it's not a forever card. It's a work that suggests that things are going to... You're going to have to buckle down and just make things happen the way you want to. Well, considering that the base card is the Magician, then I think it's probably worth your while to buckle down and make things happen because you're going to have a, have a, some pretty exciting things coming along. Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is a young man is sort of you know, young. <laughs> they come in excited and happy and bounce around a bit and bounce out. But as an energy, it's a it's an energy of learning. It's an educated education card. It's a card of uncovering information you didn't know. And it goes along with this card, waking up and being aware of more and more things. This case, though, this is your information that you've had for eons of time, and uh, you're just remembering it. So if you were a fabulous healer in a lifetime, you're remembering it. You're, you're pulling that into the now. And this is the Five of Swords, and the Five of Swords is, of course, well, it is looking after yourself, but it also suggests you have the tools. It suggests that the storm is past, or is passing if it's not completely past. You're heading towards dry land, and the most important thing is you have tools. You have the ability to handle yourself well, and you will do well. So, the last card is Ace of Wands. And Ace of Wands is indeed help from above. Your guides and angels are helping you out. If you can see right there, you can see that the, there, there's a bit of a fire, so it's transmutation. But things are growing, changing, shifting. And the first card and the last card are very similar in energy and strength. So enjoy so the most important part about this month is that you are transmuting, changing, shifting, bringing new energy in, and it is month to celebrate. It is a month of, of love, all, all right. You will have to protect yourself to do it. Uh, you have the tools. You need to dream, and you need to dream huge. It will take a bit of work. And the very last card is... For you, Sagittarius, seek the truth, which is, again, <laughs> the judgment card, or reaching enlight enlightenment. You are closer to enlightenment than you've ever been. And that, my friends, is a really good month. A lot of work, maybe, but a really good month. Namaste.